What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I go by Risha Marie and in today's video I'm showing you my full winter wash day routine. Now I've never done one of these on my channel before so I'm a little, maybe a little rusty okay, but just rock with me. So I'm going to show y'all how I get these end results. So as you can see I started on a protective style. Normally in the winter time I'm, time, I'm starting with protective styles most times. Um, this one I have the spring twist in my hair. If y'all didn't catch how I did that, I will have the video linked above and below in my protective style playlist so y'all can check that out once you're done with this one. So normally I do start with the protective style and I'm just taking this one down, nothing too fancy as y'all can see, just taking it down. Then once my hair is completely taken down, you guys, this is where the detangling process comes in. I don't go straight to shampoo my hair. I don't go straight to wash it, anything like that. I take time to um, condition, I mean, well, condition and detangle. Um, condition I use as a pre poo for me instead of just, you know, shampooing, then conditioning, I um, condition first. So basically what I do, as y'all see, I'm taking the um, spray bottle, I'm filling it with hot water. Um, straight hot water I let it warm up a little bit before I even put my bottle under there and I use hot water um, just because it opens up your cuticles a little bit more and makes your hair more porous which allows for more moisture to go inside so if you condition before even if you use a stripping shampoo it won't be as harsh on your hair as if you went in with nothing beforehand so yeah I'm going in with that um, conditioner I'm using uh, I believe this is a peppermint conditioner um that i'm using here and i apply hot water first and then i go in with conditioner and as you can see i'm not light-handed at all with it i go on with that conditioner and i just rake that in through through my entire hair um i massage it into my scalp all that kind of stuff even though my hair is still dirty i'm using that to massage into my scalp um, I'm rubbing it through my hair. I detangle thoroughly as much as I can with my fingers first. I try to be as gentle as I can not to rip the hair, not to cause any excess of pulling or excess of shedding because, you know, if your hair has been in a protective style for a while, it's going to shed when you go to detangle, but I'm not one to cause any extra damage to my hair, um, any damage at all. So I'm making sure I thoroughly finger detangle and then I go in with a wide tooth comb and go ahead and break that product through again. And then finally, I go ahead and I two strand twist um, the sections of my hair, put it on a plastic cap to like preserve the heat. And I sit with that for about an hour. Sometimes I honestly do longer depending on much, how much time I have for my wash day. Um, if I ain't got nothing, uh, if I ain't got nothing set out, I'll, I'll spend a lot of time, probably too much time, but typically about an hour. I try to spend um, with that conditioner on my hair and that cap. So after that time has come, then I take it to the sink. Um, sometimes I do shampoo in the shower. Um, um, I go ahead and wash my hair and everything in the shower. But sometimes I do the sink as well because sometimes as, as much as we try, the hair still goes down the drain. And ain't nobody got time to be calling no plumber all the time. So sometimes I do try to do it in the sink. But also that's why I bought this little um, 
this little um, drain cover thing as y'all see I, I put it in the sink um, it catches the hair it does a pretty good job I ordered it on Amazon y'all can check Amazon out and see if they got something like that that may work for your drain that one does a pretty good job I haven't had it had many issues since I got it so that works for me I put it over this thing and then I go in and I rinse all that conditioner out and then I go ahead and shampoo um, I'm shampooing with the Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoo and if you notice a little pattern with me especially in the winter time I typically use stuff that tingles or has some type of peppermint or tea tree something that invigorates the scalp because in the winter time of course your hair is going to be drier so your scalp is going to be drier so I use things that um, tend to motivate um, blood flow and also to help just the scalp to get to working you know um, make it feel good like of course if your hair has been in the protective style it's probably you know itching a little bit you want something just to make that scalp feel good so i make sure i go in with something that works good for me and for me the tea tree um by paul Mitchell is excellent and also the um, conditioner that i used beforehand the um, peppermint one works good too um to cut down on scalp issues because you don't want to be flaking everywhere you don't want to have that danger so these work great for me i make sure i shampoo the scalp thoroughly um, I, then I just rinse the shampoo out and let it get through the duration of my hair. I don't typically just aim to shampoo like my whole head. Uh, I mean my whole, the whole length of my hair. If shampoo gets there, big whoop. But I don't typically try to just run it through my whole head. I rinse it out really good and during this process I try not to tangle my hair as much. I try to like rinse straight down and I try to, um, you know, shampoo in a way that I'm not like trying to clump all my hair up because that really takes away from the fact that you detangled beforehand. You just really tangle it and back up if you do it that way. So I try to um, rinse in one direction and I try to shampoo in one direction, everything in one direction just so my hair won't get tangled back up again. Then once I'm done shampooing everything, then I go in with my deep conditioner. This deep conditioner, I must have been asleep on, I don't know. This Giovanni, I don't even know where it's sold at anymore. I think I found this at like a Marshall or something like that. But this Giovanni deep conditioner honey when it says silky as smooth smooth as silk or whatever it say on that bottle when it say that they mean it honey my hair feels so moisturized it feels so soft it feels and it is like a genuine genuinely soft because you know you have some products that just coat your hair and have you thinking it's soft but then like as soon as you go to style you feel how rough it is or a couple days later you feel how rough it is and you're like what was the point of my deep conditioner this one is the exact opposite when it, it penetrates your scalp um it it just works amazing i love it i i, I swear by it, especially for the colder months um i try to i try to rotate my deep conditioners but i keep keep but I keep catching myself coming back to this Giovanni one. I think it's amazing. Um, I'm going to try to stock up next time I go. Try to get as many as they got because it, it's it's the truth. So if you see it anywhere, make sure you get one. And then you can tell them, tell me how y'all liked it because it's dope. If y'all have ever used any of Giovanni's products and I'm just sleeping, I'm just new to the game. Because this is my first Giovanni product I've ever tried. So if I am, make sure y'all let me know in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, I go ahead and apply this Giovanni as as you see I'm not light-handed with none of my products I go through thoroughly with that I try to detangle with my fingers a little bit and I put that black plastic cap back on top and then I have my thermal heat cap um, I ordered that online at uh, what is it hot heads or thermal hot heads or something like thermal hot cap something like that um, I have it linked down below if you've never seen it before I ordered that online and it's it's really amazing it, it, it changed the game when it comes to wash days for me um, basically what I do is I microwave it on three, I microwave, microwave it for three minutes and, um, flip it every minute, um, inside and out. And then when it's done, I just pop it on my head for, and it stays hot for about 30, 40 minutes. And that's how I deep condition. Um, I don't have the, you know, the, the head covering deep condition, uh, thing. I don't have that or anything like that. And I did have like the little blow up one where you attach your, um, blow dryer to it but that was trash for me i hated it that didn't work for me but this hot cap is amazing i love it it gets gets it done and i i leave it on there longer than 30 minutes because it's still like you know even though it's not as hot anymore it's still keeping that heat inside so it's still helping it penetrate into your scalp which works really really well for me so then i leave that on um this time i left it on for about two hours sometimes i do longer sometimes i do it overnight sometimes i do it for 30 minutes it just depends on how much time i got how i'm feeling what i feel like my hair needs 
and then when that is done i go ahead and rinse it out and then my hair is just feeling so good i don't even know if y'all can tell in this shot how good my hair is looking like you already see my curls rippling through like it's just coming back to life it's popping and i just rinse my hair completely out and normally i rinse my hair off with warm water i know they say rinse your hair out with cold water to help shock the cuticles nah that don't work for me okay so i rinse it out with warm water because i want my cuticles to stay open why would i want to close my cuticles when i'm finna style my hair so i keep my cuticles open i um go ahead and rinse it out with warm water and then i go ahead and use one of my styling products or leave-in whatever i'm finna use in my hair i go ahead and use that while i'm rinsing out my hair so i will go in with um, I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I go ahead and put that in my hair and I like instead of towel drying or anything like that I rake that product through my hair until my hair stops dripping and I squeeze and I rake and I squeeze and I rake and stuff like that and then I get it all through my hair okay you guys so now i'm back in front of you and i'm finna style my hair i already pretty much have a lot of the smoothie on i may add a little bit more as i go along but i'm also using the tgin twist and define cream to go ahead and do my twist out um and if y'all want a more thorough video and a more um you know in-depth video on how i went ahead and did my twist out i will have that link above i actually have two different videos on how i do a twist out um, one that's more voluminous and one that's more defined so you can can check that out and see which one works for you I'll have both of them linked above and below that one will be in my natural hair playlist So I'll have two playlists linked below for you guys. So make sure you guys check that one out um, Make sure you guys check both of those out actually So I'm um, going ahead and I'm just twisting my hair. I'm doing the thing um, a thing that I added different that may not be in that last tutorial. I'm not 100% sure. I go through with a wide tooth comb and then I go to go through with a skinnier tooth comb. And that's just to make sure everything is thoroughly combed out and curled, um, thoroughly, um, uh, detangled, which allows for your twist to come out way better, way more popping, you know, way more definition. And it just, it just adds to the look. It just does something. It helps with, um, you know, like tangling, single strand knots. It, it helps with all that. So make sure you always try to go back in. And if you detangle two, three times, you know what I'm saying? If you use a full, if you use a wide tooth comb, go in with something skinnier. Because that just really helps. Like you think it's detangled, but it's really not. You sitting there with strands that you could have had detangled and knots that's going to eventually accumulate because you never fully detangled. If y'all want more details on the single strand knots and all that, I do have a video on that. When I talk about my wash and go, I'll have that one linked above as well. And it will be linked below, like I've been saying the whole time. So I go ahead and twist that. Like I said, if you want a more thorough video, you can check that one out. But I'm just going to pretty much speed through how I do this. Okay, you guys, and these are the final results. This is the result of it. I've picked my hair. It's a little frizzy because I probably picked a little too much, but that's cool with me. But y'all see the definition, you know. Y'all see the body. I didn't stretch it, so this is just shrinkage that I naturally have from doing twist outs. And it just looks so good. It's so soft. Uh, it looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below different ideas that you would like to see in future videos from me. Um, and we're going to keep them rolling. Remember, I upload every Wednesday. So make sure you have your post notifications turned on. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm.